Hi, I'm Carol Versalino, the co-founder of Oak City Labs Software Development Agency. And with me here today is Christy Metzen, who has co-founded two completely remote companies, Well Refined and Near. Since more professionals are working home now more than ever, and since we need to spread happiness more than ever, we're gonna talk about how to celebrate the holidays remotely with employees. And before we jump into the questions, Christy, I'd love for you just to talk a little bit about Well Refined and Near. Sure. Um, so Well Refined is a full service marketing agency. We're based in um, Raleigh, North Carolina and New York, but our team is remote and works with clients across the country as well. Um, and then Near is um, a brand new startup. We are in the end of life space and we offer a marketplace for end of life support service providers. So you definitely have a lot going on. So, and you'll have two teams to manage, right? Yes. All right. So um, first of all, so how, and this is especially tough with our team because we were used to being in the office before COVID. So how do you host a virtual party or event that doesn't feel forced or the team doesn't feel obligated or it's not corny, which in reality with my group, that's the concern. <laughs> yeah, no, I get that. I get that. And, and it is hard. You know, it is. It's tricky. It's not quite as easy to pull off as something in person. But um, we've because we are remote, we've been doing this for um, for years. And so we've had some kind of fun experiences together. But I think one of the one of the fun things you can do is to really create a cohesive experience that like plays to one of the senses, if possible. Um, I mean, there are easier ways to do it, of course. But if you are going to have the bandwidth to maybe mail something or make sure everyone has something in their hands before the actual party, then sending something like a specialty food or a specialty snack that everyone can enjoy together kind of helps create a little little bit of unity. Um, and then one, one time we were doing a fall meeting with our leadership team. And so we sent out fall candles so that everyone could have the same like fall scent. Um, we did lavender plants one time for a spring gathering. So just kind of thinking through things like that. And then, you know, you can always do more um, kind of traditional things, but, mo but move them to Zoom. Like you can still have a tacky um, Christmas attire or holiday attire over Zoom that still works well. Um, you can also look at maybe doing some kind of a game or an event again, not cheesy. And so it's, it's, um, it's hard to make sure it's not cheesy, but it can be done. And Zapier has a fully remote team. And I remember one time reading something that they did, which this was actually something they did in person at a retreat. But the idea is that every, we all have really weird like hobbies and, you know, points of interest that have nothing to do with our working life. And so they kind of just took turns rotating through at meetings where, a staff member could share a really quick, like five minute slideshow um, or presentation on some off the wall hobby or off the wall area of expertise. And they had some really funny examples. And so that's a way to keep it really personal, but not cheesy. Well, those are some great ideas. I, we've attempted the like remote video game thing where uh -huh. we had some games and we did it via Zoom, which works well for software developers. Yeah, um, I would imagine. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, well, okay. So um, you mentioned the candles and, you know, something that appeals to all of the senses. What about gifts? Uh, how do you send gifts to employees and teammates during this time? Yeah, so we, we do a few different things. Um, so like at, at the holiday season, we typically do an end of the year curated gift that we give to both clients and our team members. And each year we, we try to make sure that it's really full of intention and meaning and not just like a random assortment of, you know, um, things that are going to get thrown out. And so we kind of approach it from different angles. One year we really leaned into um, like the le intentional leadership and the time focus. So there was, um, that was when Bernie Brown's um, Dare to Lead book had just mm -hmm. come out. So we did that and we did like an hourglass that with a good quote about time, just kind of a reminder, everyone can keep on their desk, but it wasn't something just off the wall. We had a few other small things in there as well. Um, so try to pick something that's really intentional, but that's uh, one thing we do at the end of the year. And then we also do a long distance secret Santa exchange with our team members. Um, and so, you know, one person's in charge of just making sure everyone draws a name. And then we just make sure we put a note in the address line. If you're sending it from Amazon or whatever that says secret Santa, so they don't open it. And then we all open it together. We've done similar things for baby showers, which are fun. Um, and then also just throughout the year, we try to send just e-gift cards to our team members. And that could be if we know that there's been a particularly cha challenging week, we'll maybe just send one out with a note of encouragement to everyone. Or um, we also try to do that around smaller holidays, like 
like Valentine's and, um, and also just gives us a chance to celebrate collective wins because yeah. typically if you're in a team, you can do it in a break room, but you know, um, this is a good way to do it over Zoom. Okay. Okay. Those are great. Um, well, leading into the holidays, do you have any tips on how to make it kind of festive in the digital workplace? So our team is on Slack and I think most remote teams are on Slack. So we've mm -hmm. done some kind of fun things there. You can do um, like a holiday show and tell. And so again, that could be on Slack or whatever your communication tool is, but people can post pictures of their Christmas tree or like lights at their house or their the Christmas pajamas they picked out for their kids, anything like that, um, what people would feel comfortable sharing. And then we also share holiday playlists, but you can also create just like a staff playlist where everyone shares a few of their favorite holiday songs and then someone pulls it together as a playlist. And um, we haven't done this before, but I know I've seen some companies around Halloween do like virtual pet costume contest, which I just think would be, would be really funny, especially if you have a team that has, you know, has a lot of pets, um, but anything around Slack, you can also do like a holiday meme um, competition on Slack. And then those can be really fun if you're able to give out some fun rewards, like extra PTO time or something that is, you know, is really meaningful and not again, just something that's junky that they're going to toss out. Okay. All right. Well, those are great tips. So Christy, thank you so much for sharing your creativity with us. If any of our viewers have additional ideas for virtual celebrations or questions, we'd love to read about them in the comments below. We're wishing you and your team a very special holiday season. Thank you.